How to become a more disciplined English learner. So what is discipline first? Discipline is just choosing between what you want now and what you want most. A big part of learning a new language is having the self-control to spend many hours a week improving your abilities. Yes, it can be difficult to do this after a long day of work, you know, when it's much easier to turn on the TV than practice your English. If you are a self-directed English for life learner, you understand that no one else is going to make you into an exceptional English speaker. You can find other people to support you, but you have to do it yourself. And that means that you need to have the discipline. But how can you develop a more discipline? How can you force yourself to do things that you know are good for you? when you don't feel motivated to do them in the, in, in the moment. Now, I've, I will get into specific techniques and the strategies to help you improve your self-control. You know what? The discipline is like a, like a muscle. You know, it's, it's your ability to do something when you would much rather, uh, you know, be doing something else. You know, like, it's going to take some strength. And you, you build this strength, you know, just like you build your muscle, you know, by working out, you know. If you know anything about muscles, you know, you will know that if you don't exercise them, they won't be very strong. And to get them stronger, you have to use them. So, how can you grow your disciplined muscles? The answer is simple, the same way that you build normal muscles. If it's your first time in the gym, right, are you going to walk over and grab the heaviest weight and start lifting? No, you are going to start with the light weights and progress to heavier and the heavier weights as your body gets used to the stress of exercise. And it's the same with the discipline. You want to start with something easy and naturally progress to more and more difficult things. And the part of, you know, building self-discipline is being honest with yourself about what you can. If you don't practice English at all, do you think that you are going to be able to start practicing two hours a day? Probably not. However, if you don't spend any time studying English, could you increase the number to five minutes a day? Definitely. So understand and accept your current level. If you are too negative, you will only lift the very light weights or none probably, and you won't get any stronger. If you are too positive, then you will keep trying to lift weights that are too heavy for you and you're failing, and afterwards you're likely to, to get frustrated with yourself. But either way, you won't get any stronger. So when exercising your self-discipline, it's important to know that you are capable. It's okay to start slow. And, and gradually, you know, lift more difficult weights. So how do I start? The first thing you should do is to clarify your purpose. If you don't know why you want to be a better English speaker, you will probably lose your motivation. And after you clarified exactly why you want something, it leads the way to accomplish it. And one of the things that has greatly helped me personally accomplish my goals is going on 20-day trials. A 20-day trial is where you commit to doing something usually every single day, for 20 days. By focusing on doing just one simple thing every day for 20 days and doing it, even if you, you know, like, you, every cell in your body is, is resisting it, you are going to greatly improve your discipline. And the, the point of the 20-day trial is not necessarily about the importance of the task that you are doing. You know, th this is very important because the importance comes from the actual doing it. For example, you could set um, a trial to practice English every day for 20 days, right? For just five minutes. So you go 11 days, no problem. Then you have a really busy day one day. You know, you get back from, from work late. You are super tired and all if you want is go to bed. You think to yourself, oh, I don't need to study for five minutes. I won't, won't even learn that much. I will just probably go to bed. But this is the most important part of the exercise. It's not necessarily about the importance of the task. It's about the importance of doing something that, you know, you, you know is good for you and that you commit it yourself, you know, like, I mean, what you're tra training yourself to do, the, to do the, like, the, what you know is best for you, not what you feel like doing right now. Because as, so as soon as you say, you know, I will just skip this one day, right? And it's going to make it much more likely that you will skip the next day or the maybe probably one after that. So start with something easy and commit to it. In the long run, so what you do is less important than actually doing it. So building up your muscle, discipline muscle, is one of the most valuable skills that you can have. It will not only help, you know, you with your English. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, it will be everything in your life. So remember, like, discipline is just choosing between what you want now and what you want most. So 
my question is what do you want most and why what can you do like to to make small like daily habits to improve your english now do it and do it every single good luck self study paketi barədə ətraflı məlumat əldə etmək üçün bizə müraciət edin